Um, yeah, look, I think it's been a while since the World Cup, so great to have everybody back. Great to see all the media around it again, and uh, I know as a group we're looking forward to, to the two matches at home. I think uh, previously we never had the chance to do it. I think it's great. I think it's great for the fans, and, and a lot of people are like that have been hugely um, supportive. We'll be uh, obviously doing our best from a results point of view. I think the team's all about that, has been for the last four or five years. Um, but it's always been very much about this group of players coming home. I think as most friendlies, you know, the potential to, to maybe play six subs has, has always been reasonably acceptable. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't make any promises that everybody will, will get some time, but you know, I kind of think we just need to get the balance of, of what this is about with everybody coming back and uh, if we can get people on the pitch, then great. Has it your desire to put out the same, close to the same 11 that played those three games in South Africa on Saturday night against Tom Juris? Yeah, I mean, I don't think there's a, there's a massive reason to change. You know, I think it's uh, it's the first game back. I mean, we've not been together since, as you know, since since the World Cup. So a little bit of continuity thing will help going into that first match. But you know, there are some players who, who obviously can't take take part in that. I mean, I can't control some of the things where the players are at clubs and some are playing, some aren't playing. Um, you know, I think it's like I said, it's 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 getting the group back and 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 performing on uh, on our home soil, which is uh, you know we haven't done that for a long long time. Ryan, good to see uh, a few of the morning again. It's been a while, I suppose. It's always good to uh, see everybody involved, yeah. It's always good to come back. That's the, um, that's the, the fun thing about it, let alone the, the two very cool games that we've got. So it's um, exciting just to see everybody and, um, and yeah, because, uh, yeah, it's a good bunch of guys. What's the most important thing for you out of these two games? Is it uh, performances on the pitch, getting results, or is it uh, just a chance to sort of get back and soak it out in New Zealand? Yeah. Yeah, I think um, I think just to get back, really. Yeah, I think this is a really this is a really good opportunity for New Zealand fans to see some, some real high quality players. Like uh, Honduras and the Paraguay team, are, teams are fantastic teams. So, so um, to see them will be will be exciting. Um, let alone you know the All Whites team now, and um, there's, a, there's a certain expectation from from you guys and the fans now that um, that um, when we play quality opposition like this, we're um, we're, we're going to have to perform and get results, which is a new pressure I think for this kind of um, for this, for this team and, and management and everything, so it'll be exciting going forward. That, um, as I say, there's not very many opportunities that New Zealand football fans or New Zealand sports fans will get to see um, these type of athletes. Um, I think it's a great opportunity. You know, we had fantastic support when we're in South Africa. There's, there's no reason why we, we can't get it again here. I've heard a few people say that these matches are only friendlies. Is that the way the players are, are looking at it, or no, not at all, because. Yeah, I mean, I think I think New Zealand public and the media get caught up with this friendly thing, you know, because because they don't say it in rugby, and so um, well, every test match is a, a, a test match in rugby. What a load of rubbish! Uh, when the All Blacks play against um, you know Scotland before the Tri Nations, it's a friendly, but they just throw a trophy out there and then all of a sudden it becomes a test. So <laughs> well, we should, that's what we should have done. We should have gone on a big trophy and <laughs> just put it there, and then all of a sudden it becomes important. <laughs> Goodness, it's um, it's an important game. It is an extremely important game. It's, they use the word friendly just because FIFA decide to use it. That's simple as that. But it's a very important game. Um, I've spoken to a couple of the, the players already from Paraguay. That they take it dead serious as well because so these these countries have um, millions and millions of supporters and millions of media. And if they lose, they get they, they get pelted. And, uh, and I presume if we don't do well, we'll, we'll probably get the same. So <laughs> we want to win the games. Who's, um, who's likely to play up and down the left-hand side with Tony Lockyer? Uh, not sure, probably Leo Bertos, I think, could play on the opposite side. Ricky, just a quick word on tactics. Um, are you expecting the Hondurans uh, to, you know, to pull Latino all out of attack and you sort of sit back and catch on the counter? Have you got any sort of thoughts on that? Yeah, look, I think they, <coughs> post-World Cup, I think they, they probably didn't realise what their potential was. They're in a tough group. Um, but I think at the end of it, they probably uh, you know, felt that they could get some more out of it. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think they'll disappoint, that's for sure. I think there'll be a great side coming here. I think there's a little bit of rebuilding around that, but you know, that's certainly going to bring some energy and um, some pretty competitive sort of performances, I would think. And I think we have to be careful that you know, all of us don't get caught up in that. All of a sudden, we're Brazil, and we're going to play open, expansive, sort of you know, creative football for 90 minutes against the best teams in the world. I mean. That's 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 not us. Um, but I think the endeavours are there to to be as productive and and 
as attractive as what we can be, you know, and I think I think we proved that. I mean, you know, I don't think any of you could put your hands up in this room and say that you, you thought we'd get three points at the World Cup and come home unbeaten. Um, so, you know, we're not going to go to some miracle side overnight, but there's a lot of good qualities in this group, a lot, a lot of desire and passion that I think I've never seen um, in an all-white jersey. And, uh, and I think if we can continue to, to keep building that brand, then um, you know we can keep on being successful. Ricky, what's the situation around Shane Smells but till he's picked up an injury? Is, can you just explain what the situation is? Yeah, yeah, I spoke to Shane the other night. I mean, he's travelling out, so I mean, I don't think it's um, I don't think it's anything major. Just a little bit of a uh, little bit of wear and tear, but hopefully he's okay. I mean, look, it's in everybody's best interest that I manage the play as well. You know, I think at the end of the day, um, you know, Ryan's presence is massively important on the pitch. But I mean, if there's any complications, then, then you know, we need to be sensible and work around that. And Tommy Smith, though, he's you know, not, not coming, but he scored a goal last week for his club. I mean, yep. are they boxing? Are they just well, Tommy, Tommy didn't play midweek um, for Ipswich. He was on the bench on the weekend, but came on um, through an injury at, uh, through the warm-up. Um, he's going for quite a, a serious sort of scan over the next couple of weeks and I mean professionally the medical people from New Zealand and the, and, and the people from that club have gone through a degree of, of, of what that's about and I find that, that probably needs to sit there from a personal point of view but <coughs> and I think there was a there was a genuine agreement to, to look after the player and uh, through this period of time. Ryan, um, Winston Reid's had a, a, a difficult start to his West Ham career, has he sought advice from you, a you know, 23-year-old to a 28-year-old, um, and, uh, or, or if he hasn't, would you be keen to maybe give him some advice as, you know, as his career gets underway? Yeah, I think it's, um, like it was his first game was Aston Villa um, away, which is one of the hardest places in the Premier League to play, and, um, and, and, and by the way, I, like, you know, Ten of his West Ham players were worse than, than him on that day as well. So it's, you know, <laughs> but in all honesty, I kind of just said, well, you know, welcome to the jungle, mate. This is this is what happens. Like, you know, one bad game and they'll they'll tell you the worst player in the world, and uh, one one good game and you're the best player in the world. It's just now, now he can't uh, can't pick his nose on the field without somebody watching and criticising it or judging it or critiquing it, and and that's life in the Premier League. And um, um, but he's um. He's such a good. He's, he's hit such a, in a good place where um, he's mature enough to understand, and he's just got to he's just got to walk the path. He's just going to make. He's got to do it and play the games, put his head down, and get training. And um, and um, yeah, he doesn't need. I mean, doesn't really need advice from me because he's a smart guy. But but um, but yeah, I did. I did kind of give him a text and, and pretty much said, you know, yeah, welcome, big fella. It's, uh, don't read the papers. <laughs> When will you make a decision on how long you'll go and be or what? So are you committing to the next campaign, or, or are you just going to sort of see how you go? Yeah, I think four years is a long time, mate. Like four years ago, uh, you know, I wouldn't have thought. I thought I'd been after reading my first article of Blackburn. I thought they told me I was the worst player in the world, so <laughs> so maybe I shouldn't have been there. Uh, you just don't know where you're going to be. I, you know, I don't know how my body's going to react. It's just, you know, it's just a long time. Everybody here, any other questions for Paul? No, I'm fine. Okay. 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 Okay.